again and again. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Brakatha Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rekakodash. Give double honors to our apostles of Great Minstone, our spiritual teachers. Salutations to our sincere brothers that goes out on the highways and byways, week in and week out. Shout out to our sincere brothers and sincere sisters supporting this ministry. All praises, glory is due to our highest power and his son. Just a quick testimony here. We have to work to the end. It's all about the end. Okay? We serve in Yahweh Basham Yahshai to the best of our ability. And sometimes things are brought before you. Right? But we don't know how to take it. Because we live and we pray in hope that we are chosen. So we mustn't be boastful. I have to make that clear. Just because you see certain signs, you cannot be boastful. Okay? And the reason I'm going to say that, the reason why I've said that, because I'm going to bring up a quick testimony, all right, and link it to being boastful, all right? I was going to camp yesterday and on my way to camp at the train station I saw this Jake okay but like I said we don't know who is who confusion of faces all right but he was melanated okay so like I said you can't be simple confusion of faces all right anyway he was walking towards a train and he was in full white nicely dressed full white and he had a pair of nice black I'm not going to call a name right I'm not going to put the name out there he had a nice black pair of um, um, yeah it was black right not so called black real black okay pair of um, trainers on so I said, brother, those shoes look nice, you know? And he said, thank you, right? So I thought nothing of it. So I walked down the train platform, all right? I said, look at that. I said to myself, you know what I love? Sometimes things come in my mind. I wish I could see a chariot now so I could go and testify to the brother that, you know what? You're chosen, all right? Boom! All praises and glory is due to Yahweh by Shami Al Shai. A chariot passed, right? And I said, All praises and glory is due. So what happened? There was an Edomite standing beside me, all right? So called white man. You see, then again, confusion of faith, you don't know who he is, all right? But what I did, you know, I could be off. You just don't, like I said, we don't know, okay? I walk past that guy, that time the chariot's passing, you know. Walk past that Edomite, so-called white man. I don't know if he's an Edomite, but I walk past that so-called white man, okay? Because an Edomite, because when you say somebody's an Edomite, that is it for them. They cannot repent. But if they're a so-called white man, it could be confusion of face, all right? He could be an Israelite. And even going to the brother, it could be confusion of face, right? Although he was um, so-called black, he could be an Edomite. But anyway, I went to him, yeah? All praise to Allah, forgive me if I judge the matter um, incorrectly through the spirit. But what, what I want to say now, I went to the brother. And I said, brother, look up there. Can you see that spirit? He looked up straight away and he spotted it in seconds. He spotted it in seconds. But anyway, before I go before that about the boasting, let me bring up the scripture. Okay? In um, 
Romans 11, 18 and 21. So like I should have brought this out already. Um, Romans 11, 11, 18 to 21. Boast not against the branches, but if thou boast, thou bearest not the root, but the root thee. 19. Thou wilt say then, the branches were broken off, that I might be grafted in. Well, because of unbelief, they were broken of, off, and thou standest by faith. Be not high-minded, but fear. For if Yahweh Hashem Yashai spared not the natural branches, take heed, lest he also spare not thee. So that's what I want to talk about being boastful. Okay? So although I saw a chariot, I prayed to the Most High because I tell you what, I tell you right up. There's many times I pray to the Most High and the Most High doesn't answer your prayer straight away. He might answer it very long down the line. Right? But the Most High does things when he's ready. There's many times I pray and it doesn't happen straight away. But then on the spot, I prayed, I say, wow, I would love to see a chariot now. Right? So I could talk to the brother. And then a chariot came. So I just want to bring up that scripture about being boastful. Right? Because you don't know who is who. I don't know who I am. You're doing the most high's work. Okay? To the best of your ability. And still you could be a castaway. You don't know who you are. But sometimes it's love to see a blessing when sometimes these things happen. It, it uplifts your spirit. But you could be uplifted. But do not be boastful. Do not be high minded. All right, let me say this now, right? So I saw the chariot, ran to the brother, and I said, listen, brother, um, you see that spirit there? He said, what spirit? And he looked up, right? This guy looks like he's from Ghana, right? Or, you know, West Africa, somewhere. I don't know where he's from, okay? And um, he said, look up. And he saw, the, he, saw the, he saw the chariot. I said, you know what that is, Right? He said, it's a plane. I goes, no, it's not a plane. And that time a plane was passing. He said, that's too far. That's too far. How you, how is that? How you see that? I said, I said, look, how look, are you seeing that? Does that look like a plane to you? Right? And I explained to him sometimes it changes colours or whatever. But it was a chariot. Alright? So I said to him, listen, make it be a blessing unto you. But you know what? That's a spiritual. Because when I told my brother Cam, he reminded me. That sometimes when you see charity, it can be a curse too. It can be a blessing and it to be a curse. Because when chariots are visible, it is also a sign to say that they're coming to, to, to put down this kingdom. All right? And it could also mean righteously that these chariots, if you see chariots, to say that we are we'll be on our way soon to come and deliver you. Okay? So be strong. So it could work both ways. Now, all of that brother saw that chariot. My brother said to me, but that could be a curse to him. And I said, you know what? I said, you know what? Baba Kasha, I'm glad you told me that. I'm glad you remind me that. It could be a curse upon him. All right? But anyway, that was later on. But before that, now, when I was showing him the chariot, he didn't want to believe. He didn't want to believe. So I said to him, listen, do you believe in the Most High? He goes, yes. So something told me, do you go to church? Because I wanted to say, you know what? You know the next question, I said, these churches are not, gonna, are not telling you the right thing, right? And I said, make it be a blessing to you that you saw this chariot. So I said to him, do you go to church? Right? And he goes, yes. And he said to me, I am this. There you go now, he spoiled the whole program. He said, I'm a Muslim. I said, oh shit. I said, brother, what make you choose to be a Muslim? Huh? What make you choose to be a Muslim? Alright? We know that Christians are off. Right? They don't know the scriptures. But it's best to be, you know, from a Christian. At least if he said he's a Christian, it's different. Right? But to be a Muslim. Huh? To be a Muslim of all, all faiths. Right? And he smiled a little bit. But he listened to me. Alright? And, um, but let me bring up this scripture here. Um, oops, so I can't really hit the thing down. Uh, right. Uh, 
right? So, you know, he's, he's, he's following a false idol now, yes? Or he's been deluded, yes? Isaiah 66, 1 to 4. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh Shammah Shai, The heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. Where is thy house that thee build unto me? And where is the place of my rest? From all things have mine hand made. Right? That's everything. The holy angels, the chariots, everything, you name it. Yes? And all those things have been, been saith the Lord Yahweh Shai. But this man will look even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit and trembleth at my word. He that killeth an ox is an, as if he slew a man. He that scattereth, sacrificeth so like here, a lamb as if he cut off a dog's neck. He that offereth an oblation as if he offered swine's blood. He that burneth incense as if he blessed an idol. Ye, they have chosen their own ways, and their soul delighteth in their abomination. I also will choose their delusions, and will bring their fears upon them, because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear, but they that they did evil before mine eyes. And chose that in which I delighted not. You hear that? That's what these, these people are doing. They're deluded. Huh? Serving these false idols. Huh? Exodus 20 and 3 to 5. And it says, Thou shalt, shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, not serve them. You hear that? For I, the Lord Yahweh Shammashai, thy power am a jealous power visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children until the third and fourth generation of them that hate me that's deep man right do not serve any other powers any other gods eh? but back to this 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 guy here okay so the message is what i'm trying to say to you is don't be boastful okay if you see certain things all right don't be boastful. Give all praise and glory to the Most High. Okay? And it could be a sign for this brother. Alright? Or it could be a sign of destruction to this brother. Because he's a Muslim. Alright? But I'll say one thing though. The train was coming. And I was walking away. I goes, okay brother. If you don't believe me. Alright? That's, that's cool. Walked away. And... Um, about you know 50 yards away from him then he went into the train because i didn't go into the same section as him then all i heard him say he shouted out okay brother i looked back and i was surprised you know it's like it maybe touched him in the spirit maybe something touched him all right so i don't know it's all the most high's work okay let it be a blessing to him or make it be a curse to him i don't know Okay, but this is what he's he was serving, false idols. Huh? So with that, I give all praises and glory to Yahweh Basham Yao Shai. Bahasham Raka Kwadash. Kwam Yasharala. Right? Do not false, do not serve false idols. The most I would put it down because he's a jealous power. Shalom.